Have you ever felt pain in your belly while you were running? That sudden bulge or pain in your lower abdomen Ow. might be an inguinal hernia. A hernia occurs when an internal organ pushes through a weak area in the surrounding muscle or tissue. Among all hernia types, inguinal hernias are the most common, accounting for nearly 80% of external hernias. They're typically caused by things like persistent <laughs> coughing, weak abdominal muscles, or even obesity. There are two main types of inguinal hernias, indirect and direct. An indirect inguinal hernia follows the same path as the spermatic cord, starting from the deep inguinal ring and sometimes descending all the way into the scrotum. It appears on the lateral side of the inferior epigastric vessels. A direct inguinal hernia, however, pushes through a weakened portion of the abdominal wall itself, appearing on the medial side of those vessels. Left untreated, a hernia can worsen. If the intestine becomes trapped and can't be pushed back in, it's called incarceration. And if blood flow is blocked, strangulation, it's a medical emergency. If worsens, necrosis occurs, and the affected bowel can die without prompt surgery. Let's walk through how the surgery works. First, the patient is placed under general anesthesia. A small incision, about one centimeter, is made near the belly button. Through this, carbon dioxide gas is gently introduced to inflate the space between the abdominal wall layers, creating room for the surgeon to work. If this extraperitoneal space is too tight to access, the surgeon may switch to an intra-abdominal approach. Next, an endoscopic camera is inserted, followed by two more small incisions for surgical instruments. Watching the internal view on a monitor, the surgeon identifies the hernia sac. It's carefully separated from surrounding structures, pushed back into the abdominal cavity or removed and then the base is tied off or ligated. To prevent recurrence, the surgeon reinforces the area with a mesh, a type of synthetic fascia that strengthens the weakened wall. The result? Smaller incisions, fewer scars, less pain, and a much faster recovery.